What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best methods to use stretch resolution in the finals. I'll be showing you guys the simple and easy NVIDIA control panel method, but for the more hardcore players who have the absolute best performance, I'll be showing you how to force display scaling with custom resolution utility. There's a lot of steps and a lot of stuff to cover in this video, so make sure you guys stick around and follow my instructions step-by-step step, or you could potentially mess something up. But real quick, before I start the video, if it does help you, please remember to leave a like and a comment. It helps out so much and consider subscribing. I'm gonna have a lot of finals content coming out soon, but what are the benefits to stretch Res in the finals. The first and most obvious one is that you're going to be getting higher FPS. Your game is going to feel a lot smoother. It'll feel more responsive, which is really important right now because the FPS in this game isn't too good at the moment. So you want every bit of performance that you can get. The second thing is you'll get the appearance of slightly larger hitboxes, which could potentially make it easier to aim. Usually one of the downsides of playing a really stretched resolution is that the perceived motion of other players is going to be really fast. But because the base strafe speed in this game isn't too fast to begin with, that isn't really an issue. So you can go really stretched in this game. And the third thing, which is kind of personal preference but i feel like it makes my movement feel a little bit better and it just feels more clean and smooth to me but now that you guys kind of know what stretch res is and why you may want to use it i'll show you guys how to do the first method which is just going to be in the nvidia control panel this is what i'd recommend most of the people watching this video to do because it's just so simple it's just a couple of clicks and you get almost all of the performance that you do with force display scaling however force display scaling still does have a slight advantage so first thing just right click and go into our nvidia control panel for amd users i don't know exactly how you do it i don't have an amd card to test it but i know that you can change resolutions in your driver it's pretty simple to do now that we're in the control panel go to adjust desktop size and position make sure that we have our main monitor selected come down here to select scaling mode make sure that this is on full screen otherwise you're going to get black bars on the side of your screen and then perform scaling on display and check override scaling mode set by games and programs i know it says display scaling right here it's a little bit misleading it's not actual display scaling it's still technically being scaled on your gpu that's where the second method comes in and actually forces the display scaling but still make sure that it's checked in here then come up to the change resolution tab once again make sure your main monitor is selected come down here to customize and click that check enable resolutions not exposed by the display and then create a custom resolution and for this one i'm going to be using 1728 by 1080 you can use whatever resolution you want it doesn't matter you can play 1600 by 1080 1440 by 1080 1350 by 1080 1280 by 1080 whatever you want to do once you enter that in come down here and click test it'll ask if you want to save the resolution click yes and you guys can enter in whatever resolutions you want for this you could enter in a few more if you want to try different ones out but once we're done with that just come down here click ok and then you're done with that i guess one last thing to mention make sure that your monitor settings are set up correctly you want your actual settings on the monitor to be set to full screen if you still have an issue with black bars even after setting everything correctly in your control panel that could potentially be the issue so make sure that that's set one last tip for those of you who want slightly faster alt tabbing you just have to change your desktop resolution to match your stretch resolution and to do that just right click go into your display settings scroll down a little bit to display resolution and then just match it up with whatever stretch resolution you made but that's all that we have to do in the control panel next i'm going to to go to the custom resolution utility method so if you guys aren't interested in that and you want to see how to set it up in game just skip forward a little bit but for those of you who want the absolute best performance lowest input delay and a more clear image then this method is going to be for you just please keep in mind that this is a little bit more advanced if you don't follow these settings correctly you could potentially black screen your pc i'll have a troubleshooting guide linked below if you guys are having issues but if you aren't sure if your monitor has a decent display scaler or if you just kind of have an older monitor i probably wouldn't recommend doing this just because you could potentially end up black screening your pc all this stuff is is fixable though even if you do mess something up but first thing click on the website link below to download cru then come down here where it says download and just click on that and then just make a folder in your desktop called cru whatever and then drag all the files into it next we're going to open up cru first thing that we need to do is select our primary monitor i have a zowie 360 hertz so i'll just select my zowie monitor next we just need to uncheck all of these resolutions right here you can leave detailed resolution for now but we need to delete these standard resolutions then come down here to the extension blocks tab and there's going to be a couple of different ways to do this the first way i'm going to show you is for people who have two 240 hertz monitors and below that's going to be in this first option right here but if you have anything above a 240 hertz monitor we're going to be changing it in the display id tab but first thing that everyone needs to do is just come into this first tab find our native resolution at the highest refresh rate double click that and hit copy that's all you need to do just make sure you hit copy then you can click ok then we can delete all of these resolutions don't click delete all just go through one by one because we don't want to delete the data blocks just delete all of these then also come down to tv resolutions and delete that don't delete any of these other things if you have them and then just click ok for those of you who have 240 hertz and below, make sure you click on the CTA tab, then click add. Then we want to hit paste before we change anything else, so do that. And then change it to whatever resolution that you're using. So for this video, I'm going to be doing 1600 by 1080. You can enter in any resolution that you want right there. It doesn't matter what it is. Then click OK. And then that's it. We're done. You could set up more resolutions if you want to, but then click OK. And then for those of you with 240 hertz and above monitors, click on the display ID tab. Click on detailed resolutions. We're going to go ahead and click delete all. Then click add. And then same thing as before, we're going to hit paste. Then come 
on here and change it to whatever your monitor's native refresh rate is. And then also change these to whatever resolution that you want. So for this resolution, I'm gonna do 1350 by 1080. You could also do 1440, that's a really popular one. So I'm gonna click OK, click OK again, and then OK. So we've just made both of our resolutions. We left this detailed resolution up here because this is what we want Windows to default to. And if you guys want more than 60 hertz for your native resolution, like maybe you play other games in native and you still use a high refresh rate, we'll set that up real quick. So if you play 240 hertz and below, we're gonna click on the CTA. And if you play above that, it'll be in display ID. But I'll show you the 240 hertz one real quick. So just come here, double click that. Then we're gonna add a new resolution. And we don't need to change anything because these are our monitor's default timings. Just come in here to refresh rate. So if you have a 240, you enter in 240, whatever it is, and then click OK. Then click OK again. For those of you with refresh rates higher than that, go to the display ID tab, click on detailed resolutions. Then we're gonna add our native resolution. Don't change anything else. Only change the refresh rate. So change that to whatever you're using. Mine's 360 hertz. So I enter that. Click OK. Click OK. OK. But once we've done that, we've got everything set up. Go back into our CRU folder and we're going to click restart 64.exe. Your screen will flicker for a second, but then everything should come back and then it'll say graphics driver restarted. Just X out of that. Then just go back into CRU to make sure everything that we set is still there. Select our main monitor and it's just as we left it. So we're good to go there. Real quick, before we make sure that these resolutions are set up correctly, we need to go into our NVIDIA control panel, go to the adjust desktop size and position tab and make sure that we have perform scaling on display and then also check override scaling mode set by games and programs. This is really important. So make sure that both of these are set. Once you set that, just click apply and then X out of it. Then we need to go into our display settings, go down to advanced display, select our main monitor, then go to display adapter properties and go to list all modes. And then we should see the stretch resolutions that we made. So I made 1600 by 1080 at 240 Hertz. And I also made 1350 by 1080 at 360 Hertz. If you see multiples of these resolutions, it is important to choose the one with the refresh rate that you made specifically. Otherwise it may not work. So we're just going to test these and make sure that they work properly. So I did 1600 by 1080 by 240. Just click okay, click apply keep changes and click OK. Now we're going to go back into our display settings, go back to advanced display, select our main monitor. And as you can see, desktop mode and active signal mode are both the same. So we know we have it running properly. If these still aren't matching up for you, make sure that you followed everything step by step and also enable display and override in the NVIDIA control panel. Now we can get into setting it up in game. This is actually super simple to do. It's not like other games where you have to go into the files and tweak things. You can actually just select this from the game menu itself. So we just need to load up Steam, open up the finals. And once we're in game, you guys are most likely still going to be in your native resolution. So just come up top to your settings menu, go to settings, head over to the video tab, and then just select whatever resolution that you made. So for this one, I'm using 1350 by 1080. So I would just select that and then that's it. We're done with that. And for the NVIDIA control panel method, I use 1728 by 1080. So I'll just show you guys that that worked. And it's right here. So I just select that. And there we go. There's my 1728 by 1080 custom resolution that I set up in the NVIDIA control panel. But for those of you who don't see the option to choose your resolution that you made, maybe you scroll around and it's not in here. I'll show you guys how to change it in the config files because I know there are going to be a few people who have that issue. So so first thing we just need to close out of the game then you come down to your Windows search bar we're gonna type in percent local app data percent go down till you find a folder named discovery click on saved config Windows client and go to game user settings .ini. all you have to do is change a few lines so for resolution size X and Y you enter in your resolution there I did 1728 by 1080 same thing for last user confirm resolution size enter in your resolution and same thing down here desired screen width and desired screen height also the one below it as well just enter in your resolution there and once you've entered all the men just come up here, hit save. And the next time you boot up your game, you should be in stretched res. And that's going to cover it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. It might take me a couple of days to get back to you, but I'll try my best to get back to as many as I can. If you found this video helpful, please do leave a like and a comment. Like I said, it helps out so much. It really helps push this video out there to help more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I have plans for a ton of content for this game. Optimization videos, guides, tips and tricks, gameplays, literally everything. And you guys don't want to miss that. But I'm going to wrap it up here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.